I have a box opening today of some Atelier Mamoni dolls. I'm not sure if this will be one doll or two dolls. I ordered two dolls in the Fantasy Petusas order, and I would think they would both be in here, but I'm not 100% sure. They might have shipped separately because I did buy some Mamonis uh, last year around this time, and they shipped separately. So I'm really excited. Let's get to opening them. So I'm gonna get the girls open here. Oh wow, so they're both in here. I see two boxes here. And I got a note from Lola. Thanks for your support. Thank you for sharing your beautiful art with us, Lola. I love it. Oh, I love the new postcard. That's gorgeous. She sends the cutest artwork with her stuff. So I really like that. And it's, it's actually a postcard. Isn't that cool? I love it. All right, so, and a bag of treats. Yummy, I'll take those with me when I go uh, throw them in my purse for when I need something sweet. All right, so here we go. Here's the first box. Not sure which this one's gonna be. Now, I did order them both with Lola's face-up. She, she offered a limited number of face-ups with this pre-order, and I really love her face-ups because I love the whole artist version of a doll. I love buying artist versions of dolls, and so I just, I grabbed, I got on as soon as the pre-order opened and grabbed two face-ups. Okay, so let's see which doll this is. This is my Somni. Here's her certificate in Gamora skin. And so that's the green skin. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh, she's so precious. She is just the cutest, cutest little thing. Oh my goodness. She is so sweet. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Okay, so let me get the box put away. And then we'll look at her. So I'm gonna just pull these off. I should have kept the box out because I'll stick these back in the box. Oh, these are actually wrapped into her joints. Let's see. Pull her foot down. That's pretty. There we go. So that one's out and then Pull this one out, okay, and then the little head. Oh, she's so, so, so cute. All right, and I think my friend Shira and I were looking at pictures she was sharing, and we we saw the picture of this one, and we were saying, is that my doll, is that my doll? And we are both like, I think that's yours, I think that's yours. It's mine, she's so sweet. Oh my goodness, she is just the cutest thing. Oh, I could cry. Okay, so I'm gonna dress her really quickly so you guys can see, cause she's my little space girl. So this is a Star Trek outfit that's actually from a Barbie doll. Uh, so you can get an idea of fit. I have been really obsessed with Star Trek lately. Uh, I love watching it, it kinda is like, it's, it's so funny, you know, it's not intentionally funny, but, but it's also, it's just a good show. I really like watching it. When you think about how long ago it was made, back in the 60s, and how a lot of what is the show addresses is still relevant today, it's really a, a great show. It's on Netflix, so. But I really wanted to do a little Space Girl. Uh, and also, I, earlier this year, I had a, my, one of my cats, um, she passed away, and kind of when I was feeling really sad after that happened, I just sort of binge watched Star Trek, and it helped me kind of get over it, so there's a special place in my heart for Star Trek. All right, so we, this is, like I said, a Barbie dress, and we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get her hand through this sleeve, and her hands, look at that little hand, the way it's, the way she's making the the little fist, or not, it's not a fist, but the way she's got her fingers pointed in. Oh, I think it's so sweet. I keep saying sweet, but sweet is like the word that comes to mind when you look at this doll, is how sweet she is. So this dress is a little big, it looks like, because, or something's hung up somewhere, there we go. 
It is a little big, so I might have to get something custom made for her. And I think she's going to look best in a black wig, so I brought a black wig along, and that is way too big. So we're not gonna use that. But Shira made me this blonde wig, so we'll let her be a blonde. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. So here she is, my little space girl. Isn't she so sweet? Oh, I love her. She is precious. Like I said, I'll have to get her some better fitting clothes, but I love her, her little face. It's just so adorable. And I love the, the two colors of eyes. That makes her really like, out of this world, kind of. So I love that. All right. So I'll ooh and all over her a little bit more later. But for now, let's go to the next doll. So I'm going to set her to the side. This is Somni. And I may call her Gamora because I just like the, the name. And of course, you know, there's the Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. So now we have this one. This is my mini Rara here. And to be perfectly honest, what's her color? Moki. She's in Moki skin. And let's see. Let's take her out. Oh, I love her face up. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ouch. Let me get this. Ouch. Let me get this off. I'm like so excited to get her unwrapped. I'm trying to be careful, but wow. Oh, wow, I love her face up. Look at the glittery. Oh, it's so precious. It's like a fantasy unicorn rainbow sort of face up. I really, really, really love it. Wow, it is amazing. And her eyelashes are, her eyelashes are like a glittery or like an iridescent purple. That's so cool. I don't know if you can see that if the camera picks that up, but she's got like an iridescent purple set of eyelashes. Okay, I'm going to take her foam off of her feet here. Wow. I just, I really, really love her face up. Lola outdid herself on this one. Oh gosh, she's gorgeous. She's so pretty. I love her. Oh. Okay, so this wig, Shara also gave me this wig, and I can't remember where she said she got it. It might have come with one of her dolls, but the color of it is actually perfect. Perfect for this doll and her face up. So I'm going to stick it on her, and wow, that is a perfect wig. Thank you, Shara. It's, it's, it's perfect for her, for this smoky skin tone and the face up that Lola gave her. Wow, look at that, perfect. Okay, so I've got uh, an outfit here, and this is a, a Mamoni shirt. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I put this on, if I'm gonna put it on over her bum or if I need to put it on over her head. I had, my Mamonita was wearing it before, so I just went, I'm gonna slide it up over her bum, and I'll put her arms through it. And the smoky color is like a, a like a white almost. It's like a it's like an iridescent. Well, not iridescent. That's totally the wrong word to use. It's like a oh, just a white, um, just a white skin tone. Okay, so it might have some pinkish undertones, but mm, no, I don't think it does. I think it's. Really just like a white. All right, so we got our shirt on. And now these are some overalls I bought from a lady uh, that's in the Atelier Mimoni group on Facebook. I believe she also has an Etsy shop and I can link to that uh, below. But let's see, so I'm gonna put these on her. And these things fit perfectly. I love them, I'm so glad I bought them. I think I'm gonna have to buy a couple more pairs because I've my line of patooses is growing. I now have three patooses, so I have Mini Rara here, and then I have 
the Somni that you just saw me open, and then I do have a Momonita. So, Ooh. dressing dolls is very difficult to do, especially when you're excited. I'm so excited, and then I'm just trying to just to clasp her little clasps here, and I am failing miserably at it. Let's see, let's try one more time. There we go, there it is, there's that one. Let's get this side. And these are like real overalls, I mean, there's a real clasp there. Okay, so here are my two girls, I've got Mini Rara and then I've got Somni, who is in Gamora skin, and I just love them. They're my fantasy girls. So they're not, they're fantasy because they're not typical flesh tones. You know, this one is the Gamora green, and then this one's called Moki, and it's like a white, white, white resin. And one thing about my, the Atelier Mamoni dolls is they pose better than any ball jointed doll I have. You can see the leg, the, the knee joint is amazing. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love the way these dolls pose. But you can do all sorts of cool things with them because they just pose so well. And the resin is such high quality that they'll hold their poses and they just look amazing. So, there's my girls, and I am in love. Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes. <laughs> you didn't see that. Luckily, that landed face up. Get back on there. Oh, I think her little ribbon's in the way. Maybe that. And so, she has a number inside that says number 20, so this must be number 20. So, anyway. All right. I love them. And they're about... You know, they're about 12 inches. T they're like the size of a Barbie, uh, if you're kind of wondering what size they are. And I have I have one of her dolls in every size she's ever made. And this is a fun size because they're travel size. I mean, they're really travel size. And you can, because they're so small and they fold up really well. I'm trying not to drop another face here. Let's see. We lost a wig, but that's okay. You can just kind of fold them up and travel with them, you know, being careful to protect them, but they're gorgeous dolls. I love the little ears on Somni. Aren't they sweet? I love her expression on her face, too. She looks so wistful. Okay, well, if you have any questions, leave them for me in a comment below, and thank you very much for watching.